Okay, so in the last part of the tutorial, we um, established the URL that we were going to pass using curl. Now what we're actually going to do is open up the code and check if the form has been submitted here. Um, and then we're actually going to send the uh, send the uh, these variables here to text local using curl. And then the message will automatically send to my phone or to a phone that you want to send the message to. So the first thing we want to do is check if the form has been submitted. Now remember in the first part I created this hidden field here to say that submitted uh, equals true. Now all we need to do is check that that exists. So I'm going to say if dollar sign underscore post submitted equals, remember double equals true. And that means uh, the form has been submitted. So I'm going to say echo submitted and we can just test that. So send, and there we go, it says submitted. So we know if the form's been submitted or not. Okay, let's just go back to this. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to open up um, a new curl um, initialization. So we need to initialize a URL that we're gonna be passing these uh, these variables here to. So I'm gonna set up a new variable called, set up a new variable called curl, or create a new variable called curl. And this is curl init, so initialize. And in uh, rounded brackets um, and um, inverted commas, um, the address is http tx forward slash forward slash, um, and it's www.txtlocal.com, and then that is forward slash send sms host.php, like I had here before, but now you can see that we're opening it with curl to be a lot more secure, and so people can't see these variables. So that's initialized that URL. The next thing we need to do is set a few options in curl. So I'm gonna say curl set opt, set opt, so that's setting an option, um, and this is obviously using curl here, this uh, initialized uh, variable here, or this initialized um, curl session here and we're referencing it using this variable and this is curl opt underscore post and this is true true okay so this is just saying that we're using post data so now we're going to say set opt again using curl here this that we've already um, established and it's curl opt underscore post fields and this is going to post some specific fields now you've probably already guessed that these are these fields here that we've already created from our data so we just need to put vars in there it's as simple as that now we need to say curl, oh, curl set option and what we need to do is again reference this and it's curl opt and it is return transfer um, and what this does is it returns the information um, sent by um, text local. Um, like we said, we're going to return our um, information here. If anything goes wrong, we're going to need this command to be able to, for it to return back to us. So we need information back from the page um, if possible. Okay, so we've done that. Now what we need to do is um, just create this variable called result. And that's basically going to execute everything we want. Um, everything we've done and again that is curl so we're just constantly referencing this open variable uh, then we want to close the session there so close curl okay so that should um, all be okay um, after we've done this we want to just kill the page I mean it's obviously up to you what you do at this stage um, however you're uh, displaying to your user that you've sent the text message you don't necessarily need to kill the page with the die command um, but I'm just going to say SMS has been sent. Okay, so to test if this all works, I'm going to put the test variable here to one. Um, so I'm not actually going to um, use up any of my credits. Um, I'm going to refresh this page here and I'm going to start typing in a number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Not on there. PHP Academy and the message text in there. So I'm going to click send. SMS has been sent. So we've got no error back. So if I hadn't have put the um, SMS uh, or the test rather here, uh, let's show you, test here is one, this would have already sent the uh, the message. Now, 
I've changed this back to zero. Um, I want to test this for myself to see if it does work and send a text to my mobile phone. Um, but obviously I don't want to give out my mobile phone in a video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test it in the background and then I'm gonna let you know if it worked just so you can see if this code has in fact worked. You never know, I might have made a little blip somewhere um, that hasn't yet been shown. So I'm gonna test that right now. Um, then I'm gonna take a picture of um, the result on my mobile phone and um, that will be a link in the description of this video to you, for you to be able to see how it how it looks and how it's come up. Okay, so I'm gonna do that now um, and test it to sending a text to my number. Okay, so I've been having a few problems trying to send the message and the reason for this is that I, for the username, I have meant to put my email address in, so apologies for that. Um, you won't find that your username is the username you've registered with, it's in fact the email address that you've registered with. So if you haven't already changed that and if you're following along with this, just type in the email address you used to register, click save changes uh, and now I'm going to attempt to send the message. Okay, so I've just sent the SMS message and it has come through to my phone. Um, I'll be taking a picture of that as soon as I finish the tutorial that I'll then upload and show you how it looks. So the code that I have come up with um, does actually work, so I've confirmed that. Um, so you should be able to follow along and use this for um, TXT Local. Different uh, gateways obviously are, have different code that they might use, uh, definitely different variables, but if the gateway does just require you to pass post or get variables, then you will be able to use curl to do this. So this code should be more or less the same, obviously except from things like the URL. So if you do have any problems with this, please feel free to go over to the forum. Um, if you log on to phpacademy.org and click the forum button, uh, or you can go on to phpacademy.org forward slash forum, and you can get some help there if you do need any. Don't forget to also follow PHP Academy on Twitter, and also check out the new Facebook group, uh, which is just gonna allow you to to socialize um, with other sort of community members that watch PHP Academy videos. You'll also get a few updates as well, so it's nice to uh, get some updates on videos, things like that, and discuss. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this video series. There might be more on SMS tutorials, um, but for now, this is the basics of sending an SMS through PHP.